Bless you, senor. All done. Today is our second and last day here in Cuba. So uh, we have to do our special test. Uh, I believe it's just a rapid test. Uh, last time they did the whole swab up the nose thing. Uh, that was back in November. Uh, this is the beginning of March, 2022. Hola, como estas? So now it's just uh, another test. I'll explain that later. And then after that, we'll have to go grab a pontoon boat and uh, go sailing. That's why you have to wait. Now we're inside the uh, the old tobacco store and it's waiting our turn. Got our passports ready. And uh, we're gonna to go around that corner, just over there. Then we'll find out if we're positive or negative. We'll be negative, think positive. So it is a rapid test. Uh, they just go in each nostril, she puts it back into a solution. And then in 10 minutes we find out if you're positive, negative, whatever. But uh, because we are doing a catamaran snorkel thing uh, at nine o'clock, which is nine, nine o'clock right now, Carol's gone on down to the beach real quick. And uh, I just have to go put our passports back in the safe and our phones. And on the way back, I'm gonna see if I can grab the results. Carol's gonna hold off the boat for a bit and then we'll be off, get some snorkeling done. Underwater footage, here we come. I'll give you two pieces of paper that tell you if you're positive or negative. We're both negative, of course. And uh, now it's time to go for a boat ride. I'm not sure if you can fold this paperwork, but I'm gonna have to because I don't want to go all the way back to the room again. I should have just waited there until she gave them to me. Ah, uh, well, whatever. Let's go snorkeling. So this is where you get the boat from. They got one or two already. And uh, we're gonna borrow some flippers, which will help. And we have to wear life jackets. But we're gonna leave our shoes here. No point in bringing them. Where would you like our shoes? You just leave them somewhere? Yeah, you want to inside? Gracias. If we pay now, will you return us? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, he wants to be your, your skipper. We call him a Skinny. <laughs> ah, skinny, eh, Skinny? I don't know why, but... We want to go to Miami, okay? <laughs> that that means... Oh, yeah, big feet. Carol's been wanting to do this since we got here. So today's the day. Tomorrow we go home, and I think we have to be at the airport by like 10. We'll be home by four o'clock in the afternoon, back to the cold, frigid Canadian temperatures. Oh. You ready? Ready. You're gonna have fun? I'm so excited. I know you are. How you doing skinny? Fine, fine. So when you come here guys, get skinny to take you out to the reef.
Awesome. Thanks, thanks, Skinny. <laughs> Have fun. Oh yeah. Yeah. We got the uh, scars around our face, but now we're on our way back. Have a cerveza. Yeah. Skinny.
had a great time on the sailboat out to the reef and saw some great fish. Got back, I had to zip over to the room, grab another 20. So here's a huge tip, heads up for you guys. Uh, when you bring money, uh, make sure there's no rips on the money. Make sure there's no writing on the money because they will ask you, could you please give me something else? Because uh, they can't uh, cash that in. So I had to walk all the way back to the catamaran, give him his 20 bucks. Uh, so it was $60, $30 each to go out there. I think we're out there from beginning to end. It was probably about two hours. There's only so much snorkeling you want to do in the same little area. It, he said, swim all the way around. Uh, there's lots of stuff around here to see, which we did. So $60, two people, not that bad. Then we got back to the beach and when we were walking past the uh, beach bar, there was a gentleman in there uh, doing painting, having painting classes. So Carol's like, I'm in. I'm like, I'm in. So we dumped our stuff on our lawn chairs, came back, did some painting, watched some volleyball, and uh, now I have to pay for our, our VIP lounge tomorrow. Uh, again, if you come to Cayo Coco, anywhere in any of the resorts of Cayo Coco, uh, make sure you do the VIP when you're exiting the country because you get these really nice seats. You get uh, free food, free drinks, and uh, you get to walk right from the VIP lounge straight out to the plane, which is kind of fun. Uh, and a lot of times you only get to do that kind of stuff on islands. All right, let's go pay for this and I'll let you know how much that costs. There's Marco, he's gonna do another introduction to all the new people. Reception just said, uh, we pay for it at the airport. So I'm not sure if we actually did pay for it here last time, got a bro uh, some type of a brochure or whatever, but uh, I guess we can pay for it when we get there. Now I'm just gonna do a walkthrough of the buffet for the big channel, because everybody wanted me to, uh, but I'm not gonna eat here, I'm gonna eat at the, um, the beach bar, because that's where Carol is. Over here is the beach bar. It's a 24 hour bar on the lower level. The upper level is one of the a la carte and it is called the Mediterranean. And uh, but if you're hungry or thirsty any time of the day, 24 hours a day, that bottom bar is open for food and drinks. This is the, this is the artist guy. And uh, we have our barbecue stuff happening here. Looks like we've got pork, fish, noodles, skewers, Chicken, of course. This guy is uh, squeezing out some sugar cane. And that's got to keep squeezing it more and more until all the sugar juices flow out. Obviously they're cooking a pig down here and when they need it, they'll bring it up and cut it up. We have had a fulfilling day so far. Oh <clears throat> my goodness, it seems like it's 10 o'clock at night already. Yeah, it is 20 after 2 and we've done <laughs> sailing, snorkeling, uh, painting, eating, yep. drinking, and uh, listening to music. Listening to music. One of our friends that we met here, uh, she was just like leaving a room and when one of the uh, maids came by and she's like, oh, have a good flight home. She's like, no, I'm going tomorrow. She's like, no, on my schedule, it says you're going today. And she thought about it and then she like quickly looked at her stuff. Nope, she was going today. <laughs> and so once she got so relaxed here, she didn't miss the actual day she was supposed to be going home. I'm not gonna mention your name because you'll watch it and then you'll be mad at me that I mentioned your name. <laughs> Yeah, so she came by the test when we were doing our tests and, and asked if she can kind of cut in line because they needed to get their test done, get the negative results so they can get on a plane sometime today. But she still at that time didn't know exactly what time her flight left. And uh, so it could have been one of the earlier flights and she would have missed it with her mom. 
and uh, but she lucked out and it's later on this afternoon so she so so one time one last time jumping in the ocean yeah. just to get a last swim in before she heads back to freezing cold Canada <laughs> Last night together, we are in the International. It's a very pretty building. We've had breakfast here at least two times, maybe three. I think three times. Yes, three times. Uh, right now we're ordering, or oh, we got bread. Carol can't have that one, there's cheese in it, so I got two. Got a cerveza, Carol got a Sprite, and uh, she's gonna be working on that bread. And uh, are you tired or what? Do you, do you wanna go home? Well. Sort of. A part of us wants to stay, part of us wants to go. See the monkey. Yeah, see our cats and home. It's nice to be home. Anyway. It's lovely to be here. It was definitely lovely to be here. I met lots of people. I think 18 couples now. So when we had uh, dinner with the general manager and his wife, he said this is his favorite hors d'oeuvre here. It's like thinly sliced beef, cheese, capers, a little bit of almost like salsa on there. And it is very, very good. And the fact that Carol can only eat so many of the items on there, she's looking around. Uh, I get to go have hers. And it's like a sardine thing. And sardine on to toast. Eat. Cannot wait to eat both of those. Yummy. So this is the chicken soup with a poached egg in it. Mm -hmm. dig, dig out that egg. Did you already break it? I did. Was it gooey in the middle? Mm, I guess so. Was it like a soft egg or was it a hard? It was, no, it's soft. It was gooey. Nice. A bit of Japanese gooey. Japanese style. Yeah. And it's this good. You had it last time. Wait. Makes me want to go home and make some ramen. Oh, homemade ramen soup. Homemade spicy katsu. Spicy ramen. katsu ramen. Right, look at that. Lots of pollo. Baby pollo right there. Oh, don't say that. Oh, look at that. You just break it, mix it in with your soup. All that yummy yolk. Beef tenderloin time. Look at that. Got a little bit of plantain on there. Tomato, maybe eggplant. Green pepper, some gravy. Look at it steaming so hot. Oh, it's so pretty, pretty kitty. 